Welcome to chemistry lab. This camera we are making demonstration for radius titration. When we talk about radius titration, we are talking about the type of titration that two reactions concurrently occur. Reduction reaction and oxidation reaction. As the name implies, redox, read, read means reduction reaction, ox means oxidation reaction. Now, this time around, we are taking potassium permanganate and oxalic acids for this redox titration. Now, one of them is reducing agents and the other is oxidizing acids. The one that is reducing the other components is called the reducing agent, while the one being reduced is called oxidizing acid because that is also in turn oxidizing the reducing acid. Now, between potassium permanganate and oxalic acid, potassium permanganate is the oxidizing agent while, while oxalic acid is the reducing agent. Why? Because oxalic acid will be reducing potassium permanganate while potassium permanganate will be oxidizing oxalic acid. Now, you will need an acid as catalyst to kickstart the reaction smoothly. And the acid we are using is sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. Now, you will need to write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction. And so for you to successfully calculate the molarity of the unknown, this time around the molarity of the oxalic acid is known. It's south to me 0.1 molar oxalic acid. We can go into the experiment proper. Now, 10 ml of 0 0.10 molar solution of oxalic acid, which is one of our reactants. We prepare it into our conical flowers carefully. Remember not to force the whole, the last drop of the solution in the pipettes because it is calibrated that way so the last drop is not part of the measurement now you use another pipette for the measurement of the sulfuric acid five mils of sulfuric acid to be prepared into the conical flask containing 10 ml of the oxalic acid. Okay, thereafter we are ready. What we need to do is take it to the eating stand, which is a bouncing burner. We heat it to 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. 
because the reaction cannot successfully take place at room temperature. That's the essence of eating the temperature, eating the mixture to that temperature. Now, after that, you quickly take it to your titration point setup to titrate quickly. Now, you need to fill bread with potassium permanganate solution whose concentration is unknown. That is the aim of this titration, is to determine the concentration of the potassium permanganate solution. When you are taking the reading, you should be very, very careful, being that potassium permanganate is a colored solution. Now, you consider the upper meniscus as your level when you are taking your readings. Remove air bubbles at the tip of the tippets. Now we can start our titration now. Now it has to be dropwise. It's unlike the normal titration. This has to be dropwise all through. Make sure when a drop of the potassium permanganate is released and you swirl to discharge the pink color before additional drop is added. If you continually add the potassium permanganate without shaking properly or swelling properly to discharge the pink drop, it will encourage the formation of a brown color, which it happens to be manganese 4 plus, which is insoluble in aqueous system. And as a result, your solution will turn brown instead of pink. Because we are titrating, we are expected to titrate until a permanent pale pink is a seal that is our end point until you get to the end point you won't have a permanent pale pink that is if you follow the rule carefully that it has to be released the potassium manganese has to be released dropwise and you soil vigorously okay, for a quick discharge of the pink drop that appears when the potassium permanganate is released into the reaction medium. The shaking or the swelling has to be very fast. Now, you have been taught, if you have gone through the 14 ultimate laws of titration, now Titration involves both hands, one hand controlling the tap while the other will help you to soil the vessel, which is conical flux this time. The white background will help you to detect the color change proper. You yeah, are almost there. You have to be very careful. Remember, it's drop wise. Just a drop will give you the pink solution. We are almost there. That is it.